Okay, we're talking about the trigonometric identities, in particular the Pythagorean identities for tangent and cotangent of theta, and secant and cosecant. And here we're being asked to prove the identity cotangent squared plus 1 is equal to cosecant squared. And so the trick there is to remember the original Pythagorean identity. So let me write that down to start with. Sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1. That's the original Pythagorean identity. And that should be very familiar to you because you use that all the time in trigonometry. So we'll start with that. And I know I'm trying to find cotangent and cosecant in this somehow. So what I'm going to do is divide both sides by sine squared x. Divide everything here by sine squared x. And so that gives me a 1. Now cosine squared over sine squared, that's cosine over sine squared, that's cotangent squared x. 1 over sine squared, that's 1 over sine, is cosecant by definition. And so there we have it. That was a pretty quick one. We start with the original uh, Pythagorean identity, and we just divide both sides by sine squared x. Uh, to make it look exactly like what we were asked for, I can rearrange terms here, and I can get cotangent squared x plus 1 is equal to cosecant squared x. So again, this just comes back to knowing that original Pythagorean identity. If you remember that original Pythagorean identity, and if you remember the definitions of secant and tangent and cosecant and cotangent, then you can pretty quickly derive the new one, cotangent squared plus 1 equals cosecant squared. You might not even really need to memorize that one as long as you know the others very well because you can work it out quickly.